I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Former President Donald Trump discussed foreign policy at a rally in Wyoming over the weekend. As he commemorated Memorial Day, he spoke about the 13 U.S. service members killed during the evacuation from Afghanistan last year. He detailed his conversations with the de facto leader of the Taliban as the ex-commander-in-chief drew down U.S. forces near the end of his term. Trump also gave his opinion on the leaders of Russia and China. Take a listen to his comments. On this Memorial Day weekend, we are honored to be joined by Royce McCollum, the gold star sister of a fallen warrior, Marine Lance Corporal, Riley McCollum, who at 20 years old was among the 13 fallen service members, horribly and unnecessarily killed at the Kabul airport last summer. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Thank you. Thank you. She lives here. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Um, it's hard to say so sad that that whole event took place. You take out your soldiers last. We didn't have one soldier killed. We didn't have one American killed in 18 months. I spoke to the head of the Taliban. The Taliban is tough and they're smart. You know when I say people are smart? Oh, he said they're smart. They asked me, is President Xi of China 1.4 billion people? Is he smart? I said, yeah, he's smart. Very brilliant, actually. He called President Xi brilliant. What the hell am I going to say? He's running with an iron fist. 1.4 billion people. No, he's not smart. If you said Putin, now Putin's come down a long way. But if you said Putin was smart, you'd get excoriated. But if somebody else would have said it, it would have been okay. But you know, when I look at what we've been through and all of the things that we've been through, I said, I want to call up the Taliban. I want to speak to the Taliban. Jesse James. They said, why do you rob banks? He said, that's where the money is. Then they said, why is he speaking to the Taliban? Because that's where the problem was, right? In Afghanistan. So I got him and I spoke to him a couple of times. Why is he speaking to the Taliban? You know why I'm speaking? Because I don't want soldiers killed. That's why I'm speaking to the Taliban. So I said, Abdul. Wonderful to speak to you, Abdul. I'm sure you're a lovely person. These are fighters. These are people they've been fighting for a thousand years. They live in crevices. They're very good fighters. All you have to do is ask, ask the Soviet Union, which became Russia. Smaller. He's trying to build it up. It's not working so well because it's going to have a lot of land, but there's not going to be a lot on it. But there's a lot of death. A lot of death. But when you look, I said to him, Abdul, don't kill any soldiers. You kill any soldiers, you're going to be hit harder than anybody has ever been hit before. But Your Excellency, why do you say that? Your Excellency! He called me Your Excellency. I wonder if he calls Biden Your Excellency. I don't think Biden ever spoke to him, actually. I don't think Biden speaks to people like that. I don't think he's... He doesn't want to speak to him. Your Excellency, but why do you say that? And I said, just don't kill any soldiers. You kill any of our soldiers, you're going to be hit harder than... Anybody's ever been hit, actually. And uh, he then understood that. And then he said, Your Excellency, please tell me, tell me, Your Excellency, why? Oh, why did you send me a picture of my house? <laughs> and I said, Abdul, you're going to have to figure that one out. But you know what? We didn't lose one soldier in 18 months until this catastrophic surrender took place. They were so afraid they didn't want to mess with us at all. Just like Russia would never go in, China would never go into Taiwan. He didn't want to kill any soldiers. And we would have gotten out. I got it down to 2,000 soldiers, but we were going to keep Bagram because that's a base built many years ago for billions and billions of dollars. And we were going to keep it not because of Afghanistan. We were going to keep it because where China makes its nuclear weapons is one hour away. Isn't that a beautiful thing to keep? 
and he gave it up. And you know who's occupying it right now? China is occupying it right now. And you know who's negotiating for us as our representative with Iran when I ended the Iran nuclear deal? You know who's negotiating? Russia and China are our representatives. How do you think that one's going to work out?